we're back and um a cat has been absconded with and now it's being shot at oh yes uh i was thinking of shooting at the kobold holding the cat in the legs Mm -hmm. in hope of knocking it over yep and so call shot for that yes 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 excellent so yeah there we go yeah it falls down the cat um like struggles to escape and i think the cat is going to run off it's not going to like follow you directly but at least it's not grabbed by a kobold yeah, um, yeah that's the important thing should we bother seeing if you kill this kobold because you do to get to deal your damage that's right the cat sure. swims off yes yeah, so that <laughs> yeah that yes you've ki you've you've killed it good job you killed, I the, killed uh, it in the legs you've killed it in the legs you hit it in a major artery it's going to bleed out slowly in the water um, while the cat paddles away because the f water is like deep enough that it has to swim, which is adorable. Um, I think that's enough for you to make it safely like out of the like kobold hunt to your friends. Um, yeah, you catch up back at the camp place, like the place where you made camp, I think. Um, what do, what do, what do you all look like as you like re, re, like catch back up? Uh, if if Fallen's had a chance to take a breath, they will use their healing potion to not be quite so charred. Sounds good. And probably in a weird thing, because the eel is strongly tied to the swamp, like just be smoothing some of the green, loamy stuff over their skin to try to get some mm -hmm. of the moisture back in. Mm -hmm. Yep, sounds good. All right. Everyone else? Marlo is muddled, grumpy, and sluggish, but not particularly hurt. I think he's just, on the way back, he's doesn't bother, you know, securing everything. So a couple of times, like, uh, his forearm just falls out of his bag, and he just picks it up and grumbles about it and shoves it back in. Um, and doesn't talk much on the way back, I guess. I think he's looking for the cat, and the cat does not show up. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, Anhaga has been stabbed a bunch, but not severely at the same time. So it's less of a physical issue and more of a aggravating the grumpiness issue for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can apply some poultices and herbs if anyone wants damage undone. Too grumpy, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> fine. I would not say no, but other people are probably in more need than me. Okay, fine, you can help me. Uh, heal seven damage. Nice. Excellent. Uh, spend some time sitting around and I rub plants on you. That's excellent. Good job. Um, so what's the, what's, what's the go? Uh, definitely be keeping a sort of lookout or metaphorical ear out, um, in case hearing any kobolds or angry eels approaching. I mean, that sounds like, um, discerning realities. Yeah, you got one question. I mean, I feel like what is about to happen is both a gimme and what I want to know at the same time. You hear the sound of like uh, of like a pontoon being like paddled, um, um, and like um, the sound of a kobold voice being like, "Which way did they go? I didn't see." And it's like they're over there. They head that way. No, no, this way. And just a thunk, thunk of like yeah of someone paddling around on a pontoon is it technically just one more progress to our original ah uh, it's getting late i guess original destination is still only one progress away right because this it was is the danger it <laughs> the is. whole last two and a half hours of this mm -hmm. 
That this is, is the weird thing about West March is, is if we get there, but then we, we're done, we just go back to town. You do. Hmm. The clue about the girl said waterfall, didn't it? I think there was mention of a waterfall. Man lives near, or he, it was at a waterfall I that she bought the charm. Do you want to drag Henri over to waterfall, find Bella, and then go back to, back to home? What's the risk of finding danger on the way home? Like, is that there, a thing? No, you're like if you like like at the end of the session, which we can do now, or we can do in like, you know, a little, or we can do like another like little bit of adventure. Um, you at the end of the session, you just return home, more or less safely. I vote for finding Bella. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yes, I am that. in support of this. Mm -hmm. Sure. So. Sounds good. In the and in the meantime, if uh, I'm aware of these paddling kobolds, mm -hmm. I'd like to throw them off our trail by shooting an arrow into the air sort of long distance away so that it makes a splash somewhere where we aren't. Yeah, I don't think you need to roll for that. I think you can just do that. I think that's fine. Okay, I do that. Yep. So, I mean, by the time, if you want to set out for, um, for the waterfall, by the, the, um, it'll take you one progress and, um, and by the time you get there, it'll be like becoming dark. Who wants to leave? I did last time and it got us into this mess. So if anyone else wants to volunteer. I Mar Marlo volunteers. He's just like, let's just get this stupid thing over with and just stops off in what he thinks is the right direction. Yep. So 2d6 plus 1. Plus one. 7. You can either make a progress if you overcome a danger or dis find a discovery, but no progress. Uh, um, I would like to aid. Yes. If that's how, how will you aid? Uh, I will take everything that Marlo is carrying and put it on Jenny. That sounds perfectly Make this reasonable. A bit easier. Yep, sounds good. Uh, can I potentially also aid by going? It's that uh, that way. I mean, we know that. I know because um, he, he said that Marlo was going off in the whatever way he thinks it is. Yeah, uh, Where, yeah. Um, the answer okay. is the answer is not. You can't really struggle as one here. So. All good. Also, what am I rolling for this aid? Uh, intelligence? Constitution? Nicely done. Excellent. So that bumps us up to a 10 plus, which means that, yeah, you wade through the, um, through the, like, the ruined, the, the ruined village, um, and end up finding your way to, like, um, what might have once been, like, a uh, like before it became completely like overgrown and things um been a been a garden maybe a stone garden even like there are a bunch of like standing stones that are from like not around like stones like stacked up and things that are not from around here and yeah you you see like a section where like the hill has been cut out um and there is like um there is like the remains of what was once like an aqueduct that is just uh, that is just like pouring water down into the um, into the swamp, um, and behind the aqueduct you can see like a little uh, you can see like a little arched tunnel with red bricks um, uh, like laid out around it. What do? And uh, you can hear that like you can see that the water coming down from the um, from the aqueduct is quite clean. You can hear a, um, like a tapping or a clacking sound from inside the, uh, from inside the, what sounds like quite a long tunnel because it's like quite echoey. As a past knower, I would like to know a fact from the history of the aqueduct specifically. Um, yes, the aqueduct was used to, uh, provide water to locomotives. 
Good enough. I think uh, I think a catfish swims around your uh, swims around your feet. Marlo just kind of smiles at when he sees a catfish. He's like, "You'll do." <laughs> I'm tempted to stab it out of spite, and also because it would fulfill my uh, uh, my alignment expectation. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'll let you. I'm not defending it. I don't stab it. I just grab it, like bodily, and just jam it in the canopic jar, so it's not even dead. Wow. Okay. Yep. I don't know what that does, but I've collected it and Good job. also incited revenge on some sort of eel-based thing. Yep, fair. Okay. Uh, all right. What's what's the, what's going on from here? I think we should go in the tunnel to look for the girl. Yeah, you make your way in, um, and I think as you're like heading in, you this like this sound kind of yeah resolves um, uh, like deep ahead of you. Um, I think if you're just waiting in at some point, like once you, once you get a, uh, like say a hundred feet in, you hear like, um, you hear someone like stop and like laugh and it's like, yeah, you, you, you hear this, like this, um, this sound of like, like stops and, and like for a moment there's silence and then. Ha 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 ha! Who is coming in here? Who is making a splashing in the water? Marlo takes out the glowing indigo stone that he found in the in mm-hmm. the cave mm-hmm. and holds it up uh, to light up the tunnel ahead of him. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you come out through the tunnel into like a large room. It's circular and has more tunnels going out. And there's like, eight tunnels, including the one you're in, going out in each direction. Um, um, and it's, yeah, all like the, a lot of the like red brick that was like holding this up has like fallen down and now it's just like dirt and, um, dirt and like roots and things in the center. There's a large turntable, um, um, probably like 20 something, 20, 25 feet across, um, that is like sitting, um, like slightly with like a gap of about five feet, um, from like the lip of the like dish that it sits in um and sitting in front of that um there is a there is an old man with dark skin white eyes um cataracts um and you can see him like striking a flint against iron trying to start a fire in the middle of the in the middle of the room um and he he call he calls out again is like who is going there And he goes back to like you know, tapping his fire. Marlo is is frustrated with him trying to start this fire, and just walks over and grabs the flint and steel out of his hand and, and lights the fire for him. Okay, great. Does, does, like, does he have a fire like tinder in front of him? Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Light, he does. He okay, does. Yeah, yeah. I, I light it for him and then hand it back. Yeah. At which point, like, yeah, he starts. His laughter turns booming as the shadow uh, as the shadows of the of the fire, which erupt into purple and blue, um, like roar f- forth from the uh, from the small sticks in front of him, um, and like f- uh, and like you spot the like they're like incense and all these sorts of things like in there, um, uh, like the the body of a of a budgerigar, um, and like things like that, just in this in this little pile that is now like erupting in strange colored flame and casting his shadow across the like. Uh, across the uh, the um, the wall of the thing, and the shadow seems to be like moving circularly around the space, and the shadow doesn't seem to be a man's shadow so much as a skeleton's shadow. And yeah, he he stands up, um, much taller than he seemed um, uh, seemed a moment ago, and uh, and like. Um, takes your like like leans down and like 
takes your chin and like tilts it up to him and and, and like looks into your eyes and is like uh, and is like thank you is like thank you for your help you are a strange one to be coming into my place and he's like um and, and he's like now what do you ask of me you have come seeking something i can see it in your eyes he says like not looking at your eyes at all because he's just cataracts uh, yeah do, do you know a bella came around here a few weeks ago ah the, the young girl the one with uh, the one with the tight black hair and the very sad sad eyes the one That's who the one. Uh, the one whose love is cursed Yes, I remember her. I gave her something. I will give you something, a gift too, if you need it. Uh, no thanks. Just, just her would be fine. Um, he's like, he's like, oh, I don't have her. I don't have her. She came, uh, she came back to me, gave me my gift back. I was very sorry for her that this happened. Now she is returned. Uh, uh, now she is not returned. She is ashamed. She is lost in the uh, lost wandering in her shame. Oh, so sad, so sad. Um, yeah, he he's like, he's like, um, he's like, come, let me give you a gift. Do not worry about this girl. She will be a happy soon. Is he leading? She will be a what soon? A happy. Do you want me to stab him in the brain and eat his brain? What so is it you? Ask where she wandered off to. Yeah, is it Harpy or she'll be happy? She'll be a Harpy soon. Hmm. Uh, the web. Is that a song by um, Mumford and Sons? <laughs> um, he's like, yeah, he's like, come, what ails you? You uh, 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 think happy thoughts. What happy thoughts can I grant you? Some legs. Henry, are you just like staggering along? Are you being carried? I'm being. I'm on Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, and like, and like, yeah. He tur he reels on you and is uh, uh, he reels on you and is like, um, and is like, uh, is like, quiet, witch. You are not the one that has done me a favor. This young heroic man has lit the flames for me. He's, um, if you speak again, your tongue will be in my soup. You want to go? Henri, no, now is not the time to go. <laughs> um, he's like... Anhaga speaks up and says, I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels like this. <laughs> yeah like what's the context i'm just like because i'm missing that everyone's grumpy oh everyone's grumpy yes of course everyone's grumpy yep um what's 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 happening from i think uh, if everyone's grumpy and not wanting an answer armory will be her straight to the point self yeah and say where which way did the girl wander off then, you coot? Um... Marlo whispers to the to the guy, Look, I don't care what you do with her, but it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh... I think... Um, I think he turns Henri into, like, I think, I think, like, like, green flames erupt from the fire, um, and, like, rocket towards Henri on the back of the thing, and I think, yeah, he turns, he turns Henri into... Uh, it's gotta be a, it's gotta be like a frog, right? Like a frog with a like with a croak, right? Like with a raw. That's gotta be what it is. 
I am going to use my eat my dark horror magics and turn it back on him with my with my brain. How's that work? I'm just going to apply danger with my brain. And <laughs> Sounds great. Use his magic to curse him because I have the curse move. That's a different thing. Yeah, no. Oh, Henri's a frog. Henri's a frog. Big, big bullfrog. Big necro bullfrog. Henri's a frog with XP. Do uh, my legs work? Yes. You're a working froggy hoppy. It's like, it's like, um, it's like, there, now you have, uh, now you have powerful jumping legs. And a call to uh, and a call to uh, lure to you any man you desire. Can I still wield a bone dagger? No. He's like you have to admit it's a solution. Um, he turns. He turns back to. Uh, um, he turns back to. Um, uh, to oh gosh, Marlow. He turns back to Marlow and is like. If your wish is the girl, I can tell you where to find her. Um, he's like, he's like, if you, uh, he's like, if you continue the way you have come, you, uh, you and her, you will find just, uh, you will find yourself at the Wailing Peaks. It is a long trek, a dangerous one, one that, uh, one that few walk unless they are truly despaired. Could you like bring her here? I, I wish that she was here and we could just leave with her. That's what I wish for. He's like, ha ha, <laughs> of course, he says. And like, yeah, like, um, uh, and he's like, he's like, um, I, uh, he, he, yeah, he, his like laughter like echoes down all of the tunnels. And he's, uh, he's like, a favor for a favor. And the, like, the, um, I think he the the like fire erupts and when it clears he's gone and um and uh Bella is there but she's like on fire cuz you know she's in the fire um and like screaming and like trying to like get the fire off her what do I pull off my long dark stranger cloak and just throw it over and do the pat down uh put the flames out thing yep yeah you 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 put her out, and she's like, "Where am I? Where? Am I? Oh God! Oh God! Not back here! Oh!" And yeah, you see her just like start like yeah, she starts crying. Marlo picks her up. I do want to. And he's like, "Come on, we're getting out of here." I do want to say this is a huge surprise to Anhaga, who's been listening to this conversation and assuming that everything anyone was saying was a metaphor, like <laughs> this journey will lead you to the Wailing Peaks and stuff like that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, she's, she's, yeah, like, deeply, like, just out of it, in tra like, traumatized. So, yeah, cool. Um, this just turns this... and stalks back out, doesn't even yep. wait for anyone. All right. You, you definitely, definitely do that. I'll just, like, look at Adam and be like, you, you, you good there? Frogful eye daggers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that the end of? Are we are we heading back to town then? I think there's yes. one more thing, yeah. uh, which is that on the Anhaga turns. Anhaga turns to fall and 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 says so. Was she literally going to turn into a harpy? I was going to ask the same question. Um, maybe we should just visit occasionally for the next few weeks. Make yeah. sure she's not sprouting feathers. I'll keep an eye on her. She can start the Fletcher. <laughs> That's true. You need a carpenter before that. All right, so Just end of session. Um, when you reach the end of session, where am I? It's splintering well. 
End of session. When you reach the end of session, you return to town more or less safely. Regain any lost hit points or spells. Then, look at your alignment. If you've fulfilled that alignment at least once this session, mark XP. Does saving Jenny count as defending those weaker than me? Yes. Yes. I mean, I think Jenny's weaker than you. Yes. Yes. Uh, does shooting the kobold holding the cat count as saving someone from literal or figurative bonds? Yes. Great. Got that animal XP going. <laughs> That's why we bring him around, right? Um, with... Could I sell you on uh, exchange of sacrifice freely given for a service rendered as getting exploded uh, as the sacrifice for um, Henri saving Forland earlier in the session? I don't like that XP trigger, and I think it needs to be relooked at because I don't because like that doesn't sound like a thing that you did to me. Um, in that the like the like I think it's I think it's stretching sacrifice and service, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna say yes to that one. Sorry. Okay. But what about be becoming Henri's double or second in the duel? The service rendered was that Henri can get away without dying, and the sacrifice was that Forland got blown up. Yeah, I don't think that was a sacrifice freely given, though. She, uh, yeah. sorry, they they stood up and said, "I I stand in Henri's place." Freely given, though. Well, yeah. like like getting blown up is not that's like. What so the that that's not exchange that that's that's both both of those are being done by, um. By Forland. So the I think that the sacrifice of nominating herself is because she has already received the service of not falling in the spike pit. Okay, I'll allow it, but I would like you to um, grab an XP trigger from another playbook. Because I find that one really, or one of the other ones in that in your current playbook, because I find that one really tricky to interpret. Can do. Hmm. Um. Cool. Well. Um. Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? Define overcome. <laughs> yeah, that's my question. Thanks. So. Tell me. Tell me who you overcame. Mortality was induced upon an immortal being. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Well, it I would was, say uh, that um, Marlo overcame the wizard he was, did he? Yeah. Because he would, thought to light the fire. I would, I would, I would say that that counts as overcoming. Like you got away without being. Only one of you got turned into a into a frog. So you know. Did we loot a memorable treasure? A cat, a, a girl. Bella, she, she's memorable. Did you loot her? I think Jenny is both a treasure and memorable. Oh. The uh, knowledge of an angel. I looted my own body. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, like Marlo's body count. <laughs> yep, that's that seems fair. Um, did we discover something new and fantastic? There's a bog wizard and also yep. a giant eel. Yep, legit. So mark an XP for that one. Did you overcome a threat to Beta or fill a need of its people? Yes. Cool. Did you return to town bearing great riches? Not I mean, riches. If Jenny is a treasure. No. No. Did you return to town broken, battered, and in need of care? Yeah, I mean, it depends what no, you just define. Fraud. Yep, cool. If, if I mean, you how much how much hit point loss would you define as battered and in need of care? This is up to you. This is kind of up to y'all and your honesty. Like, yeah. 
didn't hit points recover to full when we camped the last time. Did you do that? You we didn't actually it. camp properly. You had to take the oh, we, never... we didn't roll for camp. We didn't roll to camp. It says regain any lost HP or spells, then look at these things. So I think the HP doesn't count towards that, but if you have a disability or if you have a debility that you want to get rid of, then that would count. Yeah, so, um, Andrew, I have you, you updated the wording here right to match the others because it's if you returned to town, right? Like, you uh, going into town is, is, yeah. So, I would uh, argue that being a frog is not a disability. I mean, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not going to call that, um, I'm not going to use that against you. Similarly, being dead doesn't count, doesn't count against this. I mean, my, my question is if we were... I don't know who was the most damaged. Like, yeah, how much, was fine. Um, hit points. What, what hit points are you at out of um, uh, fallen? I'm currently at sixteen out of twenty-two, but it went down to eight at one point. So if you're at sixteen out of twenty-two, that's not broken or battered. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, so you don't you don't reduce the town's fortune. So you actually brought it back up to negative one. So like that's you know that that's that could have gone worse. All right. Well, that was a very silly adventure. Um, I'm a I'm a big fan. I'm glad we got to see some kobolds because like I've been I've been having kobold thoughts and I I, I like them. Um, Let's do some shout outs. Everyone, I will get you to tell us, give, do your shout outs and give us a wisdom. Um, starting with Cammy. Uh, my shout uh, I am Cammy. I am Splidget Moose, spelt like you can see on the screen. Uh, I'm the only Splidget Moose on the internet. I generally just follow Ash around because she's entertaining. Um, I'm currently figuring out what what my sermon is for today, so give me a minute and I'll come back to it. Okay, sure. Um, let's then do Heather. Hello, okay. I've been Heather. I'm Short Shrub on Twitter and Instagram, although I haven't updated Instagram in a while. Um, and my system? I suppose, in as much as you can call anything I've got to offer, um, is don't leave things to the last minute like I've done and I'm currently trying to finish an assignment that was technically due last night. Uh, don't do the stress, folks. Um, be good to future you and get your stuff done before the due date. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fun. Well, thank you for taking your time to come and play with us. Um, Jason. Anytime. Hi, I'm Jason. Uh, I'm Manixer both on Twitter, where I'm most internet active, and on other places. And uh, let's see, wisdom. Um, related to the stress management thing, hydration is really underrated. It's really and, good. Yeah, it's good. You should do it. Excellent. Cool. And Ray. Hi. Uh, you can find me at Ray L. Visser on Twitter. Um, RayVisser.itch.io. I didn't mention that last time. Um, play some old video games I made from 2008 to 2010 and more recently, as well as a RPG I made for a contest last year for a game jam. Um, my Oh, one of you could make me a professional game developer if you pay me a dollar for anything on there because nobody has. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my wisdom is related to that, which is if you're at all into game design, uh, you should consider entering the 200 word RPG challenge, um, which will make you a better writer and editor because you write a complete playable RPG in 200 words or less. Um, and also I'm a reader for that. So if you make something, I may get to read it. So that'd be cool. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. I need to get around to finishing off my one because I wanted to like just get it out of the way. Um, so I need to get around to that. Um, Cammy, did you have a did you have a sermon? Lesson twenty eight from the uh, thirty six lessons of Ur. Sets are always empty, with no exception. 
Mm. All right. Um, I've been your GM, Ash. You can follow me at SCGIAK, A-C-E-G-I-A-K, on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, or Tumblr. Um, and um, I'll be back here tomorrow for uh, for some cyberpunk times. Um, I'll be on Andrew's channel, um, Actual Factual. Before that, uh, maybe, we'll see, um, for... Uh, go by Moonlight, hopefully. Um, and then I'll also be around playing a lot of ro roguelikes because that's my jam. So if you haven't already hit the follow button, it's up there. Smash that and we will see you later. Bye-bye.